Hello guys, this is Sharon here from 24/7 Techie, and in this video, I'm going to compare the Helio X10 processor with the Snapdragon 808. So while I was comparing the Mi 4C with the Redmi Note 2, I noticed that there's a lot of fluctuation in the in the Snapdragon 808 processor compared to the Helio X10 processor's performance as the Helio is a little bit more stable. So I thought of running the benchmarks on both the phones and uh, having a look uh, on how the performance is uh, i've chosen these two devices because uh, both the phones are running on miui 7 and we will be running the enter 2 benchmark because according to me the it is the whole benchmark it tests out the phone's uh, full performance so we'll get started now so this is the first time that we are running the benchmark So the benchmark is finished and we can see that the Helio X10 scored 45,800 and the Snapdragon 808 scored about 46,000 and we will be running the benchmark again to see if there is any throttling or not. And the second benchmark is finished and we can see that the, the Helio X10 is still performing about 45,000 whereas the 808 has dropped from 46,000 to 41,000 and we can see that some drop is there, we will be testing it again. So again we can see that the Helio X10 has scored about 45,000 and the 808 is falling now it's in 40,000 so we'll be testing it again. So the benchmark is finished again and we can see that the Helio X10 is performing uh, very well. So it is scoring for 44,000 so ju just a little bit of the score has dropped from 45,000 to 44,000 but the 808 uh, the scores are dropping a lot so now it's in 30,000 so 37,000 so 37,000 for a processor of this caliber is not that uh, good we'll check for the heating issues so both the phones are not getting any heating issues so just normal warm temperatures not a lot of uh, heating in the temperatures point of view they, they are performing very well uh, but we can notice that the snapdragon 808 is throttling a lot so we'll be running the benchmark again So the benchmark is finished again and we can see that the 808 is coming back a little bit. So it scored about 37,000 in our previous benchmark and now it's coming to 40,000. But the Helio X10 is still performing the same 44,000. So we can surely come to a conclusion that the Helio X10 is a more stable processor and a processor without uh, throttling. But the 808, uh, there's a lot of fluctuation. So it was 36, then uh, 40,000, 37,000 and then now 40,000. So now what I will be doing is switching off these two phones for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes so that uh, both the phones can cool down and have a break and then uh, running the benchmark again so that we can know uh, how much throttling is going around. So we are booted back into the phones and it's about 15 minutes now. So the benchmarks are finished and we can see that the 808 scores jumped uh, right up to 46,000 and uh, the Helio X10 is uh, performing about 46,000 again and uh, we can see that the heavy throttling is going in uh, 808 
and not as heavy as in the 810 but uh, the 808 is having some throttling and some performance issues so after this experiment we can surely come to this conclusion that the helio x10 processor is much more stable uh, to the 808 yes 808 may perform a little bit better to helio x10 but if you're looking for a constant good performance the helio x10 is a little bit better it will be really very interesting to see next year on how many companies go for the mediatek uh, compared to the snapdragon as mediatek uh, this year has sort of proved that they are a worthy competition so thank you guys for watching this video this was sharun here from 247 techie showing you guys the helio x10 versus the snapdragon 808 and please do subscribe to our channel because we really need subscribers and you can help us a lot through that red subscription button and i really wish to see you in my next video till then see ya